Me and Jake have been classmates since the first day of elementary school. Even though all our classmates live in this small town, Jake and I live closest to each other, with just a rice field separating our homes. This made us inseparable buddies, and our families were like good neighbors, often having meals and chatting together like one big family. Whenever the school bell rang, signaling the end of the day, we'd rush to line up for the buses, eager to get home early. Once home, dropping our backpacks and grabbing our homework, I'd head straight to Jake's house. Sometimes we'd hang out with other classmates playing games, and other times we'd chill in his living room, gaming on his PlayStation console. Whether at my house, his house, or anywhere else in town, we always found new games to play or simply sat together chatting about cartoons and games. Those days were filled with adventure and endless laughter, all because of the bond we shared. It was this special connection that later led me to experience some unbelievable supernatural events. One summer, during the break before we transitioned from middle to high school, I decided to visit Jake after a shower at home. He was getting ready to shower himself, so he asked me to head next door to his uncle's place and play games while I waited. I thought it wouldn't take long for him to shower, but Jake insisted it would be a while since he needed to use the toilet first before showering. As I entered his uncle's house, I caught sight of his grandma walking into her room. While her presence seemed normal at first, her demeanor was oddly cheerful, quite different from usual. Before I could even greet her, she had disappeared into her room. Setting up the game console in the living room, I decided to use the restroom before starting to play. Passing by his grandma's room again, I glanced inside. Despite the dim lighting, her silhouette was visible. She sat motionless at her vanity table, not budging an inch. After using the restroom, when I passed her room again, she was now seated at the edge of her bed, her head bowed in what seemed like a prayerful posture. I greeted her politely, hi, grandma, then quickly returned to the living room, feeling a bit unsettled. We played games until Jake finished showering and joined me with snacks. Midway through our gaming session, I suddenly realized I hadn't seen his uncle around. When I asked Jake about it, he casually replied, he's at the hospital with grandma. I found it amusing because his grandma had just come back, seemingly unaware of his uncle's absence. As a prank, I told Jake, I think I saw a mouse run into grandma's room, hoping to lure him in to see his grandma had returned. Jake, taking my word seriously, stood up with a cookie in his mouth, cautiously heading towards his grandma's room. Laughing, I followed behind, eager to reveal the prank. Upon entering her room, however, Jake froze in disbelief. His grandma was nowhere to be seen. Confused, we searched the entire house, but she was nowhere to be found. Back in the living room, Jake explained that his grandma was actually at the hospital, and his uncle was with her. Feeling a sudden chill, I couldn't shake off the eerie feeling. That night, despite our attempts to distract ourselves with gaming, the unsettling experience weighed heavily on my mind. Eventually, I couldn't bear the unease and made up an excuse to leave. Upon returning home, I found my mom hadn't arrived yet, leaving me alone in the house. Terrified, I locked myself in my room, trembling with fear and sweating profusely, unable to muster the courage to open my eyes. Suddenly, I sensed an ominous presence, as if someone were standing right beside me. The oppressive feeling intensified, making it hard to breathe. I dared not move, fearing what might be lurking in the room with me. After what felt like an eternity, I heard the familiar sound of the engine, signaling my mom's return. Relieved, I cautiously opened my door to find my mom bustling about in the living room. Yet, the unease lingered, and I couldn't shake off the feeling that something was amiss. Later, I received a call from Jake, informing me of his grandma's passing. Shocked and confused, I relayed the news to my mom, who immediately made arrangements to offer her condolences. Still shaken by the inexplicable events of the night, I couldn't shake off the feeling that I had experienced something beyond the realm of the ordinary. From that night onward, I found myself attuned to the supernatural, sensing its presence whenever it lurked nearby. 
This newfound sensitivity made me hyper-aware and cautious, forever changing the way I perceived the world around me.